Hello, Pick Breakers and Sheep Punchers. This is Jury Duty Summons. So, I'm back here in my Let's Play video, or Let's Play series, rather. Let's Play video. Pfft, whatever. Um, yes, and this is my, well, what's left of my failed attempt at uh, building a um, flax capacitor. So, I have gotten a video response on my other videos showing some tips on how to make it work, and using the same version, and it got it working. So, um, it's clearly my fault. So um, let me rebuild this in just a different way and see if I can make this actually happen. Okay, so, you know, actually I wanted to do something before I did that. I use this thing a lot. I love it. I just never show that I use it. There we go. My OCD has been satisfied. So anyway... It's all going to run off a timer. Might as well just put the timer down right there. All right. So, ta-da. Timer. Switch. Whatevs. Whatever. All right. So, uh, I need repeaters. That's right. So, a little bit of redstone. We're going to put a, another repeater after that. A little bit more redstone wire. Another repeater. So, that gives us um, a couple different things here. So we're going to do, what order do we want to do in? Hey, let's put that back there. Let's do uh, green for fastest, then blue, then yellow for slowest. Okay, that works. And then I'm going to attach this all to a bundled cable. Oh yeah. Why can't I... Put that there. Okay. Well, that was weird. Huh. Weird. Now I'm con confused and concerned. Okay. Anyway. Um, what was I doing next? Ah, uh, yes. So, the reason why I've done this is that there needs to be a delay between each action. And so, the delay... So, this action is going to happen first, the green one. That's going to be placing the seed down. The next action will be the blue one, and that'll be that'll be using the bone meal on the seed. And the last action will be yellow, and that will be triggering these block breakers. And so if, if all goes well and the timing is perfect, we won't have that super unusual glitch where um, funniness happens. <laughs> so let's see if we can do that. So it's green first. So let's pull green right off of that. This is bundled cable, by the way, and if you don't know what bundled cable is, is that uh, wire, colored wire that goes into it, the, um, it outputs the same. So if you have a green signal on here, and you put a green wire somewhere else on it, redstone signal will output on the green. So that's how that kind of works. Um, if you want more details, then... Well, I guess I'll just do a whole video on it or something. So, okay, so that's going to be green. That'll also be green. Cool. The next one was going to be... Going to be? Going to be. Pff, whatever. Uh, blue. So blue is going to be these... Oh. Nope, this needed to be blue. What am I doing here? Distracting myself. That's all, yep, that's all i got to do to switch. So blue is second, so that needs to fire second. Okay, this needs to fire first, so this will be green. And the good thing about these colored uh, wires is that they don't connect. And so it gives us the ability to do stuff like this. So let's just go, oops, like that. Perfect. And that's a little concerning. I'm not sure if it really does connect, but it kind of looks like it wants to connect. And so I'm going to use a stone strip to uh, take care of that. So there we go. Now it doesn't even look like it wants to connect. So that's perfect. Let's do the same thing over here. And don't, there we go. Same issue. There we go. So cool. We have, we should now be able to plant and insta-grow every, every time this goes on. So let's test that. So there we go. That actually did what it's supposed to do. Awesome. You're not wasting any more bone meal, are you? Okay, cool. 
So you can see how this signal goes first, then the blue signal, and then the yellow signal. And they're all just one tick apart. And hopefully that'll be good enough. All right, so the yellow signal. How did I want to attach the yellow signal? Probably just like this. I think this will work just fine. So now, when yellow happens, um, you know, let's move it one more back. Let's try that just a little different way. I actually know something because I've tested this, but uh, it, it, at night it needs a light close by to work. So I want this to work 24-7, so I'm going to leave a gap right there. Um, the same thing over here. There we go. And we'll put a cover down right there. Perfect. That gives us the, the gap we, we want and provides everything in the right order. Cool. The good, also one of the good things about this setup is that if I wanted to set up more, all I'd have to do is run some conduit cable and I would have to just wire them appropriately and that's all you have to do. So anyway, let's let this sucker run. Let's uh, reset it so it does a whole, does a whole cycle here. There we go. Okay, let's see what happens. What's my delay at? Two seconds. That'll work. Um, hmm. Hmm. So this one's doing exactly what it should be doing. This one is... Let's see what happens here. Okay, so if you look right there, you can see that one's moving. The bottom one's working, but the top one isn't. I ran into the exact same issue earlier. And I was kind of hoping that it would go away when I rebuilt the whole thing, but turns out it didn't. So I, I have no idea why that happens like that. These things are set up essentially identically. There is really no difference in how they're set up. So I have not a clue why that's happening to that one, but not that one, or why it's working there and not there. Don't know. I have no, no clue. So essentially all I can do is take, turn that off because um, it doesn't really generate EMC over, I mean, it doesn't really generate any EMC um, if it's losing half of the drops. It needs all the drops for it to be a positive uh, gain. Otherwise the bone meal is too expensive, you know, because you don't get that much from strings. You need, what are you, know, eight strings and four seeds or whatever you get usually. So anyway. That's tedious. So the other kind of thing, I had one more improvement on this. Um, and I'm not sure why that's happening. I might come back to this later and then like rebuild it over here or something and maybe see if location matters. Um, at this point, I'm not really sure. So anyway, I'll just leave that there for right now. Maybe later I'll move it. Um, so yeah. The other quick thing I wanted to show is that there is a way to keep this deployer filled with seeds. And so first of all, I'm going to move... I'm going to put at least one flax seed in each slot. And then I'm going to put this pipe here. Okay. So the way these pipes work is that they will fill the closest appropriate inventory. And since the only there's only two inventories on this little network, the next closest, uh, the, the, uh, the previous inventory was that really far away. So there's only two inventories right now. This is the closer one, but it won't accept strings. Right, like the way it is, because the strings are, well, I don't have any place to sit, because we got this all filled in with flax. So we could even bring this down to something like that. Oops. Just take that away. There we go. And that will sit there and refill all the way till it's full. So let me pull that, let me turn this thing on, and we can show you exactly how that, you know. So there we go. You can see the seeds going that direction to the left and the rest of everything going over to this right. Just, just string for right now. Ta-da! Okay. So that's not bad. Let's see if there's one more thing we can try. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to hook that back up. Just <laughs> what I'm going to do here is take down the timing down to its absolute minimum to a 0.2 seconds, so it should go really fast. Let's see if we can break this whole thing, crash my game probably. <laughs> oh, 
God, that is hilarious. For crying out loud. Well, actually, we could just leave this one going. Let's turn that one off. I'm seeing about a half, um, about a 50% drop in frame rate because of this thing. Look how much. Let's just fill this up so we can get a, a good idea. There we go. Um, well, that's sort of odd. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, going this fast is just not going to work. <laughs> let's bring it up to, uh, let's say one second. Okay, so the seed, some of the seed is going the right direction, I think. Although much of it seems to be caught in this crazy little loop here, which I'm not, not sure I like. Hmm. What to do about that? Maybe if I did something like this instead? Wait, now that's not... I'm so confused now. Why is this messing up? Okay, well, it sure is generating a lot of EMC, so I'm going to call this a success. <laughs> uh, although it looks like it needs a little bit of babysitting and maybe a little bit of um, messing with the timing here. Maybe if I draw the timing up a little bit, it'll be a little more reliable. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. But it seems to be doing decent, so um, I think that's good. Let's put a light right here. Maybe that's just because it's night. There we go. Nope. All right, well, anyway. We're doing good. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions or comments, or if you know why this one just does just throws things constantly. Um if it was occasionally, it'd be okay, but just like the non-stop, it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I could do something with, uh, well, I don't know. Well, anyway, talk to y'all later.